Hi, I'm Lori Clapper, editor with Pharmaceutical Online and BioResearch Online. I'm here at Interfex 2012 with Max Blomberg with Meisner. Max, how are you today? Very well, thank you. Well, I'd like to start with some of the issues that biopharmaceutical manufacturers are facing today. How is Meisner addressing those issues with your technology? Um, I, we're showcasing a number of uh, technologies here at Interfex this year that really uh, uh, ease the implementation uh, and robust implementation of single-use uh, single systems. Now, as far as your technology, how does this benefit or work within to a single-use system? Um, well, one of the technologies right in front of me here is what we're calling a single-use gauge T. What this allows end users to do is to aseptically add uh, uh, a diaphragm pressure gauge to your fluid path. Uh, what you see here is a polypropylene housing with a thermoplastic elastomer uh, diaphragm welded to the top, thermally welded, permanently welded. Um, and this allows you to add a diaphragm pressure gauge uh, uh, to your fluid path. Um, aseptically, uh, so without breaching sterility. You can also pull this offline at any time, calibrate offline. You're limiting your consumable. Uh, it's more economical than throwing away a, a complete uh, 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 sensor every time. Um, uh, and ultimately, you're simplifying your fluid path. This is polypropylene and uh, uh, TPE resin. Those are two things that are in your single-use system already. So that's one of the technologies. And this is something unique that Meissner is uh, yes. doing? Yes, this is, a, this is a unique technology for Meissner filtration. How yeah. so? Um, the thermal welding here, the permanent thermal welding, uh, uh, and allowing, a, like I said, uh, allowing an end user to uh, aseptically add or remove uh, a single-use pressure sensor from a fluid path without ever breaching the sterility of your fluid path is, is unique. All right. Okay, so Max, this right here is something that really improves the footprint within a lab. How does it do that? Uh, yeah, within a lab or, or a production facility. Uh, for years, uh, people have been using uh, cylindrical drums as kind of the uh, uh, go-to for a economical rigid outer container to contain their, their single-use system. Um, we've taken that and improved upon it. Uh, 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 with this square, what we're calling a quadrum here. Okay. Um, this improves things in, in a couple of ways. One is, uh, traditionally, you would put a, a square biocontainer in a, in a round drum. This is a square biocontainer in a square drum. Makes it much easier to de uh, deploy for an end user. Um, second thing, as you mentioned, is, is footprint. Uh, this is a much more efficient uh, floor space utilization within a lab or a production facility. Uh, allows for them to be stacked closer together. Uh, third thing is dynamically stable. Um, uh, traditionally, a drum on a dolly uh, can get a little top heavy if you're wheeling it around a production facility. Right. This has got a, a stainless steel cart uh, with, with four uh, edge located casters. It's uh, far more uh, dynamically stable. The last thing is just a, a feature we've added is what we're calling an access lid. So this allows uh, 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 end users to be able to put a lid on that provides security uh, around the bulk of the bio container yeah. um, while still allowing uh, uh, access to your fluid paths, um, which is a, a unique feature to the, to the Quadro. Max, thanks so much.